Hello again, it feels like every major economy wants to weaken its currency at the moment, but what are the trading consequences of this? Well, I've been discussing this with Miles Eakers from Savvy Trading. So Miles, it seems that everyone is aiming at the same end. Uh, the RBNZ uh, governor has tried to talk down his currency. Um, so in this situation where everyone's looking for a weaker currency, how do traders profit? It's difficult because it's obviously a lot of the comments that come out from the central banks are obviously aimed at trying to weaken their currency. Um, obviously the Bank of Japan have done very well over the recent weeks. Um, I look more at which economies are starting to expand and which are starting to grow and as a result, like after the G20 minutes, you look at US, they're showing good signs of growth, some of the data is improving. And Europe are coming out of what looked like quite a strong recession. Um, so for me, I think Euro and the dollar are the ones that potentially show the upside. I think at the moment cable is, is struggling, it really is, and it's getting down to some key technical levels against some of the crosses. So I think as a counter trend, I think obviously the yen to weaken, I think sterling yen is a good good shout for a longer term play. Yeah, do you, do you think there's an advantage of crosses versus non-crosses because the US dollar has remained relatively flat compared to other currencies? Yeah, definitely. I, I think it is tricky because when you, when you look at the dollar, it's often the risk on, risk off sentiment. But I think people are now playing the yen as a safe haven um, and obviously using the yen as potentially a funding currency to buy riskier currencies. The euro has obviously outperformed all against the yen over the, over the recent weeks and I think as a result if you look at sterling yen it's, it's obviously coming to some key technical support on cable and I think dollar yen should continue to, to push higher so sterling yen is the one for me. Yeah, to move on to the euro, it's at that 133, 134 level against the dollar and it seems quite happy there. Yeah, strong, strong buying on dips to 133 but obviously selling on, on rallies up to 135. I think it's likely to stay range bound for a while and I think unless we get a clear, clear direction from the FOMC this evening about potential either further stimulus, which I think is unlikely, I think the other side of the coin is potential inflation pressure in the US, which could come as a bit of a surprise to the market. As a result, you see dollar strength across the board. Um, I still think at the moment there's there's positive signs coming out of Europe, despite the German GDP. Um, but I think um, the, the zoo will kind of offset that the other week, sorry, earlier on in the week. So I'm looking now at the euro in terms of the Italian elections that are upcoming, uh, whether or not Berlusconi can get into power. I think it's very unlikely. I think all he can do is cause a bit of a uh, uncertainty over the short period of time. Um, but I think Bassani and Monti will form a coalition, which I think is good for Italy, with Monti's austerity measures and, and Bassani's popular vote. Yeah. Let's move on to the yen now. Um, after the G7 and G20 meeting, there seemed to be, um, well, Japan seems to be given the green light to weaken their currency further, yet it still remains at that 93 level. Why mm. hasn't it weakened more? Um, I think I think it is tricky. There's a lot of people that got taken out by those comments. I, th I remember seeing Euro Yen do 150 pips on the downside within within minutes. And I think a lot of people were long the uh, the Yen crosses, and as a result, they've been taken out. I think people have taken a sideline approach and say, let's see how we trade from here. We've obviously got the FOMC this evening at seven. I think, as I was saying, if there's any sign of inflationary pressure in the U.S. or any hint by the Fed, people will start to front run that. And I think you could see dollar Yen get a major move on the upside. That coupled with the Bank of Japan, one of the members' comments about trying to target the Nikkei, trying to get that up to 1300, uh, according to correlation and, and regression analysis, you see dollar yen around the 103, 104. So I think there is potential for further yen weakness. I think people got caught, and I think as a result, people are just taking a sideline. I think we see further strength from here. Generally speaking, uh, the yen and the sterling seem to be the most interesting currencies at the moment in terms of volatility. Yeah, definitely. I think sterling Kiwi, sterling Aussie, sterling yen, I think cable just across the board has been sold. And as a result, I think there is potential for a long sterling yen trade there. Um, whether or not that comes to free, we would wait for a signal that the market has bottomed out. Um, but I think that's one to watch out for as it's done so much on the downside. Well, it's always great to hear from Miles. Stay tuned to Duke's Copy TV for more interviews. But for now, goodbye.